That was brutal. Celtics lose by three to the Spurs. Manu Ginobili, who had closed the first quarter with a Christian Leitner-like three-pointer at the buzzer, contested to give the, to give the Spurs a one-point lead at the half. He comes back and does it again to end the second half. Five seconds left on the clock. Dagger three from Manu Ginobili, the legend, the Hall of Famer, adding to that le- legend tonight. So what this came down to again, you know, Kirk, Kyrie Irving did everything he could do. Al Horford, uh, Al Horford didn't really shoot well, one for six. He just did not have it going, but uh, solid enough game other, otherwise. Well, really, and, and Jason Tatum was clutch again in the fourth quarter, especially. 11 shots, 20 points, 6 for 6 from the line, 8 rebounds, continuing to shoot 50% from 3. It was the bench once again. Uh, Terry Rozier started out super hot in the first half, early second quarter. He had 11 points, but then he just missed like his last, you know, 5 shots or something like that, guys including about five three-pointers in a row in that third and fourth quarter. So that was the difference in the game. You can't really shoot 29% from three. And how do you shoot 29% from three when a guy like Kyrie Irving goes six for 10? Anyway, that's the story of the game. Marcus Morris and Terry Rozier missing those shots. You know, one of those goes down, and we tie or win this game. Um... So it is what it is. Marcus Moore is dealing with a injured knee, right? Every other game he's sore. So this is an ongoing lingering issue. And the whole offseason, he was more worried about that court case than he was in getting an NBA shape. So this is just hopefully something that's not going to haunt us all season, but it may very well. We're lucky to be as healthy as we are. I know we lost Gordon Hayward, but other than that, things have been pretty good. So, uh, Aaron Baines took a hard knee to the uh, genital area. But anyway, guys, it's just a shame to lose to Jason Tatum and Kyrie Irving, just some really big games. Jalen Brown coming back with the goggles. He looked awesome as well, shooting 70% from the field. But whatever, we lost to a, we lost to a great team. It's just scary to think how, how much better – how the Spurs could be even better once they get Kawhi Leonard back. And luckily, the Celtics have their own ace in the hole with Gordon Hayward two weeks away from getting out of the boot. We will see if he ends up coming back, but whatever. You win some, you lose some. We lost. So did the Cavs. No big deal. Moral victories abound. But our bench scoring continues to be a big, big issue. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.